Hello everyone, I'm Amud here from Retarget YouTube channel and this will be continuation of using the Google Drive APIs to upload the files. In the last two videos, I've already covered the simple upload and multi-part upload. In the simple upload, we can upload the file without metadata, but using the multi-part, we can upload the file with the metadata. But in these two approaches, one thing is common like we cannot upload the file whose size is greater than 5 MB. So if you see the Google Drive API documentation, you can see here like we in the simple upload and multi-part upload, it is restricted to 5 MB or less. But if you want to upload more than 5 MB, then you need to use the reachable upload. This is recommended because if the uploading is failed in between, then you can restart. So I've already covered the simple upload and multi-part upload. In this video, we are going to learn about the resumable upload. But resumable upload is not straightforward. We have two steps minimum. If you go down, I will suggest must go and read these lines because this will give you the idea like what is the use of this. But as high level, you can see that we need to send the initial request and to retrieve one session URI. This session URI we need to use for upload the file. Okay, you can see like second step, upload the data and monitor upload status. Third step is optional. You need to you go for third step only if the upload is disturbed. So you need to resume the upload process. So they have already given the step by step process. So first thing you want to do, you need to use this endpoint with the upload type as resumable. If you go to this API, here you can see they have given what kind of upload type or what value into pass for upload type. If you are using the simple upload, then pass the media. If you want to do multi-part upload, then pass the multi-part. But if you want to do the resumable upload, then use the resumable. So you need to use this endpoint with the upload type a resumable. Okay. And then if the initiation request succeeds, the response includes a 200 OK status. In addition, it includes a location header, which I'll show you. And after this, if you want to pass the metadata also, okay, means this resumable upload, we can upload the file with the metadata. If you have metadata, then to pass the metadata here in the JSON format. So same thing, same process, whatever we did for the multi-part. We need to create a JSON file with the metadata and you need to upload that. Then you need to add these headers and these are optional. You can see that X upload content type, content length, these are optional. You need to pass the content type if you are passing the metadata. Okay, we need to set it as application slash JSON. Why? Because we are passing the metadata in a JSON format. Then same thing content length. Send the request and we'll see something location. So let me go and copy the endpoint. Let me copy in Postman. This is a post call. So we want to upload the file with the metadata. But before that, let me copy the authorization code from here. I have already downloaded one file whose size is more than 10 MB. So let me show you that. So you can see the first file size is more than 10 MB. Now what is the next step? I also want to pass the metadata, right? So you can see that add the metadata to the request body in the JSON format. Okay. Otherwise leave the request body empty. Means it is saying that like the previous video where I uploaded the file using the form data. Don't do this time form data. You need to go to raw and upload it as JSON. Okay. So means instead of uploading the JSON file, just copy this content and paste it here. So in this instead of Spotify logo, I will put like resumable something logo.png. Okay, so this is tricky part here and that's why if you see here, it is saying that you set the content type required if you have metadata for the file and you need to set the value as application slash JSON and care set UTF-8. So let me copy these two values and let me set the content type. So sometimes everything will not be clearly written. You need to understand, okay, what might be the, now I think I have all done in, I pass the body, I am passing the headers, content type, everything. So this is post call. Remember this in the first time, we don't need to pass the media. 
okay let me click on send and it is give me 200 okay and if you go to headers inside headers you can see that we have called location and here we have some value right let you copy that one from where i am getting these details if you come here it will say that send the request if the session initiation request succeeds the response includes a 200 ok http status code which we can see in addition the response includes a location header that specify the resumable session uri use this resumable session uri to upload the file data and query the upload status means i need to use this location this uri this will be my resumable endpoint so let me click on new tab and paste it here you can see here upload type it is giving and the upload id and if you go to the like how can you upload the file so we have two ways you can upload the content in the single request or you can upload the content in multiple chunks means suppose if a large file 100 mb or 100 gb then you can upload the file in chunks like first uh, 1 gb then uh, 1 gb next 1 gb next 1 gb like kind of thing but if the file is not that much big you can go for upload content in a single request so if you come here you can see that it is saying that create a put request to the resumable session uri whatever i just copied so instead of get it will be put call and here add the file data to the request body since here we just need to pass the media file so instead of using the form data i will like to use the binary okay and i don't want to pass any content length so simply i need to click on send now let's see what it gives you can see that it is taking the name whatever name i provided in the metadata same name it is taking and it it is uploading the file with the 200 okay so if i go to my drive and let me refresh or yeah you can see the file is uploaded if you click on it you can see the description also like 10 mb and it is like this resumable example logo one thing you need to notice once you do the put call for the resumable session uri you don't need to pass any headers here no authorization headers you need to pass okay and you can upload the file greater than 5 mb using the postman in this way since i cannot cover each and every parameters here but you need to go and read those things why those parameters are required in which condition you need to use so that's all in this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others and obviously if you have any comment or any feedback any suggestion you can always comment those things in my on my video thank you everyone